Brant Job got quite a cheer from the gallery. He gets a hole in one. He finishes tied for eighth place in the tournament. Now back to Phil Mickelson. He wins today's tournament. He's now ranked third in the world. Tiger Woods drops to seventh in the rankings. This is the first time Mickelson has been ranked higher than Tiger since 1997. Final round of the Kraft Nabisco Championship belongs to Stacy Lewis. She rallies from two strokes down to win by three. It's her first LPGA Tour win, her first win in a major. Lewis celebrates with a champagne bath from her friends, then a jump into the lake. On the fast track, Goodies 500 about halfway through the race. Martin Truex Jr. bumps Casey Kane, and both hit the wall. Truex's car takes the worst of it, but he says it's a blessing he bumped Kane first. Truex hit the wall going 100 miles per hour, but both are okay. It took about 25 minutes to repair the barrier. Dale Earnhardt Jr. takes the lead with 20 laps to go, and the fans are pumped, but Kevin Harvick passes him with four laps to go. He holds on for the win. In the women's NCAA Final Four, Texas A&M tops Stanford, and Notre Dame beats UConn. Highlights coming up at 11. Also, congratulations to local skier Colby yes. Grandstrom. He took the slalom, right? Slalom. The national championship in the slalom. Colby, way to go. We will see much more from that young man in coming years. You can bet that. Thanks for joining us tonight. We will have a live report on that situation that's developed in Puyallup. Police standoff uh, with a gentleman there who appears to be armed. So we'll get you a live update on that at 11 o'clock. More news coming your way in just half an hour. Good night. Kong TV is part of Velo, listed on the New York Stock Exchange as BLC. Everyone needs a champion now and again. Someone who listens, helps you out of a jam, shares a laugh. The trick is finding someone you trust. Easier said than done. But sometimes all it takes is a look in the eyes. Jesse Jones. It's right. It's real. It's on. King 5 News. Paul Sylvie. King 5 News. I'm Andrea Nakano. Welcome to Sounders FC Weekly. The Sounders are still looking for their first win of the season. Last night in San Jose, they were without Freddie Montero, who missed the game after having wrist surgery. In his place, rookie Mauro Rosales gets the start. The Sounders get tested by 2010 Golden Boot winner Chris Wondolowski and the Earthquakes early in the match. Wando fires right at Casey Keller, but Keller with a huge save, keeping the game scoreless. Wando had scored 11 straight goals for San Jose. Mauro Rosales very active in place of Freddy Montero. Two great scoring opportunities. This one stoned by Quakes keeper John Bush, cleared by Brandon McDonald. Moving ahead to the 17th minute, Rosales makes his mark. He crosses the ball and Brad Evans gets his first goal of the season. Sounders take the 1-0 lead. But that lead wouldn't last too long. In the 32nd minute, Simon Dawkins with his first goal of his MLS career. Then just before the half, Steve Zakuani with a brilliant play. He sends the ball right to O'Brien White for the header. Sounders lead one at the break. Second half, the Sounders get in trouble in the 53rd minute. Kari Stevenson launches from long distance. That's close to about 40 yards and a few inches too high for Casey Keller, who just gets his fingertips on the ball. Game tied at two. Seattle with an opportunity late. Nate Jaco right there in front, but his shot goes wide. The game ends in a 2-2 draw. The Sounders now have two points with their record, moving to 0-2-2. It's the first goals of the season by both Evans and White. Good to see O'Brien get one in after so many close calls. Now let's turn it over to Arlo White, who talked with head coach Ziggy Schmidt after the game. Ziggy, in the end, 2-2. It's a, a point on the road, but the Sounders did lead, lead the game twice tonight. Does that lead to a bit of disappointment for you after the game? Definitely disappointment, you know, because when you're up one nothing, you know, I mean, if you if you played a zero, 
you know, then you end up winning the game. And uh, and you look at situations right now. You look at L.A. got a point. You know, you know got three points.